it is my 19th Yay! birthday. Well, not quite yet, but this weekend, I'm gonna be celebrating it with my friends. Come on! Oh my God! <laughs> Oh my so I've just packed up. I'm going for I think it's four or five days I don't even know. I'm so like stressed like trying to check I've got everything checking that everything I've like organized and planned for it is definitely happening I've got a cake. I got my nails done yesterday. I absolutely adore them Can you tell there's a little bit of a theme going on? I've got loads of ribbons in my hair ribbons on my nails I've packed a lot. I've got this massive suitcase, which is literally so heavy I can't even carry it like I don't know how I'm gonna manage to move this around and to make it even even worse, I bought these new shoes. And I know these are gonna be one of those things like Marmite. You either love them or hate them. Now it's a bit weird. When I first saw boots like this coming out, I was like, mm, I'm not sure about it. But now I really love them because I love things which just look unique and different and like, you know, stand out. The only thing is with new shoes, especially when it's like heels, I have no idea how comfy this is gonna be if I'm even allowed to walk in them. And normally if I get heels, I get a really big heel. Now this isn't obviously like a stiletto, but this is a small heel for me, like it's in the thickness, but then it's also long. I don't know if I'm going to walk in this, let alone pull my suitcase, carry this big bag with my very destroyed pinata. There's a long story behind this. So when I tried the boots on, there was like loads of bits of cardboard inside it. And I did kind of feel like it was fitting me a bit weird. And then I just discovered there's also cardboard in that bit. Oh my gosh, it's giant. So no wonder it's been fitting me weird. There is literally never ending cardboard in these shoes. Oh, it fits so nice and tight. Let's do it up. Is it? Ta-da! They're definitely different. I think that they look really cool. I am kind of struggling to walk at the moment and I've barely, like I haven't walked, I'm just walking around my room. But I do have carpet, which is really hard to walk on. But I think they look really cool. They're very different and maybe about this one, like with the all black outfit, I'm gonna wear my new fur coat, which someone may have gotten me as an early birthday present. I absolutely love it. I think it looks so cool. And does it go with this outfit? Yeah, it looks cool, this outfit. And it's literally so warm and cozy. So I'm definitely bringing this because where I'm going, I don't know, I haven't told you guys anything. Where I'm going, it's probably gonna be cold. So I'm definitely gonna need this. I have to leave quite soon. So I need to make sure I definitely have everything that I'm gonna need on the trip. And I need to message all my friends, check they're all okay I'm coming. Cause I am having quite a few people come, which this sort of thing always makes my mind like, I can't with this sort of thing. There's too too much like happening and going on and so many people coming that like I need to check everyone's okay and coming and at the right time and the right place the right address and it's because as well lots of people are coming different ways me and my friends who live in London are all gonna be getting the train there together but then some of my other friends who live in other parts of the UK are actually gonna be driving there need to organize this properly bye, bye. 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 I love you too bye. I am now I will. I'm now at the train station. I've got a massive suitcase and I'm wearing heels, but I'm doing it. Oh my gosh, they're embarrassing me. <laughs> Great. I'm right outside the station. I will be meeting some of my friends in there. Some mix-ups happened. Well, my mix-up happened. I was really late and we missed the first train, so we can get later train. I've made it onto the train and with some of my friends. <laughs> I am literally so stressed out. Like, I don't really know what's happening. One of my friends texted me this morning in the group chat which I made, which is named 23rd to 26th which is the date that we're going and one of my friends was like wait we're going today i thought it's tomorrow <laughs> so i don't know what's happening guys but some of my friends are coming tomorrow now but it's okay i feel like they're being very noisy i don't know what happened probably my fault i really don't like this hairstyle so when my pony is like that i literally look like an egg what was a disco ball and now a very concave ball because the moment that carmen cora saw it <laughs> they decided to start punching it when i was packing they'd always quickly run in my room and try and punch it just a little bit more <laughs> so it's very punch. Also, I completely forgot to buy anything to put inside it, so I need to sort that out. I'm meant to have a cake coming tomorrow, and I don't 100% know if it's coming tomorrow, and yeah, I'm trying to stay calm. We're actually on the train now, and this should take us directly to the place, so hopefully everything goes okay from now on. We have now got off the train. It actually went by so quick, and I'm really surprised, because I always think of this place as being really far away, but it's actually not that far away, and it's actually a place that I know really well, and you guys are also gonna know really well if you've been watching our videos for a long time, because we actually lived here for a couple years. So, if any of you guys know already, maybe you recognize the station. We are in Brighton! It's really weird for me, because I used to come 
here like all the time in this station and yeah I haven't been here in years and it literally looks exactly the same but we're not actually going to be spending most of the trip in Brighton but we're actually going to be a little bit out of Brighton so it's going to be nice because we're going to be able to be right on the coast and everything I can't wait to show you guys the Airbnb it's so cool but now we need to try and find a taxi or something so we can actually get to the Airbnb and I have a massive suitcase <laughs> Drew, and um yeah we all have lots of luggage so how on earth we're going to fit into a cab I have no idea what happened what? It's an absolute tragedy. Oh, what? My nail! <laughs> oh, your nail! Oh no! Time so will glue it back on later. Come on, guys. <laughs> We've got to find a cab somehow, and obviously, I'm used to being a London girl now. I'm used to just <laughs> flagging them down. Oh no, the taxis are like Wait. really small what? ones. No, I thought they had cabs in Brighton. Oh no. <gasps> but it's fine, I've got it. Um, I thought Brighton has cab. Yeah, it has Ubers too, I think. But there's a cab oh. there. No, but like big ones. Oh yeah, there's a big one there. Oh my gosh, Vehicles, we are here. I am so excited. Look, this is our crib. I don't know why I said crib. I'm in a very weird mood. And look at our view. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to show you guys all around it and like see what it actually looks like inside. So some of our friends actually arrived before us. So they've already like got the keys and checked in for me. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I am so excited to finally see this in real life because I've obviously seen all the photos. Look at the view! Oh my gosh, I need to go to the top of the house right now and see it. I'm pretty sure this house has, so the, we have one floor and we've got another floor and it's got like loads of rooms. Are you okay? This oh, is the wow. living room! It's so spacious. Look at the TV. Okay, got bedroom there. Wait, I'm gonna give you guys a full tour in another video so I'm not gonna show you too much I'm gonna keep this so we go upstairs and here we go here is the third floor so this house is three floors so it should all have lots of space and oh my gosh there's a bath I think this will be the master bedroom oh my gosh and look at the view it's very like messy yeah. let's see if I'm I can here. actually open this up yeah so this is a room right the main yeah room. go in that door oh I read about this apparently like connect oh my gosh oh, why do you want a room in a room that is so weird. Yeah, I saw about that on the Airbnb listing. There's like a room in a room. So luckily we're not max capacity. So no one has to sleep in the room in our room. But that would actually be really good if it's like a family and then the parents and then the kids. Yeah. So it does kind of make sense. Come in again. <laughs> I told them to quickly get out before they saw it all. You ready to see? This is the master room. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god. What? There's actually, actually oh another god. bar. The real oh my god. Wait, can I see the bathroom? Do we have a it's great. Ooh, it's a shower. I am so excited because we have I'm pretty sure it's three nights, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. As I said, for some reason someone's turning up tomorrow. <laughs> and so careful. This is a bit scary. I didn't know it was gonna be like right on the road. This is scary. I'm not gonna send any pictures of this to my mum because she probably will be very scared that I'm gonna fall off. It's not gonna happen. We're gonna try and work out if there's like a path or something to get down because obviously this is a big cliff there but I'm hoping that we can actually get down on the beach and one morning I'm gonna dare everyone to come to the sea with me did you hear that? I think this part wait you look can there. go down there that yeah you guys have to come in the sea with me who's down? so I thought it could potentially be really fun or it could go very wrong if we made pizzas <laughs> kind of from scratch we've already got the pizza dough already made but we have to like roll it all out and stuff and i've decided to go really adventurous and i'm gonna try and make mine into a heart <laughs> i'm really tired how do we start Great. get some flour on Great. the table okay we need some flour on the table oh my god look how tall i am get some flour we have Is that? Is that how that works how much flour do we need to put out just uh, look, just watch a sprinkle this. really i will be <clears throat> chef <laughs> that was very chef looking chef-esque. I'm gonna try and half this pizza dough. Do we just roll it out however we want? Yeah, 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 so. Okay. Well, ro roll it to a ball first, probably. And then like slap it down. Yeah. No, slap it. Yeah, slap. <laughs> and then, then oh, there's probably a rolling pin too, if you want. <laughs> He's risen. <laughs> He's risen from, from the dead. dead. One last sire. <laughs> no? Yeah, yeah, that's good actually. <laughs> I wanna turn it into a heart though. <laughs> We're gonna make it hard. I want mine to be a triangle. <laughs> just one big slice. Just one big triangle. I hate you. <laughs> you should you make it just like a cross. cross. Yeah, You're only yeah, on yeah. the top, like a giant yeah. pizza slice. Hey, I'm making spin. a cross. Yeah, no, can you spin it? Please, go on, try. Spin it. Go on. 
I can't spin it. Try <laughs> it's not again! One finger, bro. It's no, it's one, on your whole hand. It's on your whole hand. It's not one finger. It's not the ball. It's not bottom. Try again. Yeah. So Andrew, it, bro. Show us your pizza spinning skills. <laughs> We're turning the look pizza into a heart. Oh, watch out. Oh, sorry. What? Mia, look at this family. <gasps> oh, there's a baby grater and a giant grater. <laughs> Wait, what happened? No idea. Oh. Well, my kind of like, just went in like this. <laughs> it was like eight hour shift at my work was polishing like really sharp steak knives and I cut myself so much. Ow. I know, so I'm, I'm, it's okay. My pizza is done. No. I was definitely the one that made this. I definitely <laughs> had the skills to do this. <laughs> it seems like you're probably meant to put it in the oven, so yeah. I'm praying that you are. Mum, okay. for watching this, I needed your help. Also, this oh, door is really weird. Okay, my pizza is in. Just gotta be patient, hopefully it comes out good. Oh, I bet Let's see what the pizza looks like. Ta -da! We've got more pizzas cooking in there. We didn't really think about how there's not really trays, so we're trying our best. But that tray which I use seems to be all right. Mm, are we even gonna be able to get it off though? It does look really nice. I am super excited for this pizza. The dough looks kind of like oh, so Toby decided to make a pizza that was one giant slice. He's a giant. It's cool. Hell yeah. Very unique. <laughs> unique. That's how you know it just is cool. It's, cool. Wow. it's <laughs> giving me like Chuck E. Cheese vibes. That's what my teachers used to say I was. <laughs> Look <laughs> how cute it awesome. is. I love it. Um, I love it. See what I did there. I need to take some pictures, but I look such a mess. Oh my gosh, I was about to take that thinking it was like a table knife. But I need some lights on or something because this lighting is not it. We have to take a photo of the pizza. No, because the bottom's done. If you look yeah, I think it looks good. Ow. Mm. Really? <laughs> really good. I like it. Out of 10. Five. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because it was cute, and I made it myself. Well, he helped me, but you know, it was homemade, sort of. Does it class as homemade? I think I might be able to hear something from downstairs. Good morning, by the way. I've been awake for a little bit. I just put a hair mask in my hair. Then I walked out my door this morning, and I wanted to um, check on my edit, and look what I opened the door to, and I'm so confused how this happened, because how could this have happened the night or really early in the morning? Because I woke up really early and then I went back to sleep and then I woke, I just woke up again. Oh my gosh. I'm so confused, like how this happened, who did it? Like, I don't get how it's possible. Apparently it happened while I was asleep, but I don't understand because I thought everyone went to sleep when I went to sleep. That was just so cute. Is anyone awake? Hi. <laughs> People are awake. Did you find anything? Behind your door? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Who yeah. did that? We, the little tiny balloon elves. Yeah, yeah. The balloon elves? Where did you even get the balloons from? I'm so confused. I just put my bikini on underneath my clothes. And last night, I told all my friends that this morning, I'm going to go in the sea and I want at least one person to come in with me. So let's see if my friends are going <laughs> to go in the freezing cold sea with me. It's actually so cold outside. But oh my gosh, the view is Stunning. Look at those cliffs and there should be like a path down there or it looks like there's a path there There must be some way to get down to the sea because I want to try and test myself. What if I chicken out? I might be the one that chickens out <laughs> Do I look ready for the polar plunge? I feel ready. I don't have any idea what it's gonna be like I feel like I'm imagining it being really cold, but like I haven't been in cold water so long So I can't remember what it feels like. I feel like it's about to stop raining and it is very cold um my outfit's not doing that much, but I'm just worried like I'm gonna have to take all this off and then go in the freezing cold water. I'm scared. Look guys, I can see the beach because we are actually on the cliff front. So I think it's gonna be a little bit of a walk, which kind of makes it a bit scary because how on earth, you know, we're gonna have to walk back afterwards. That's why we brought so many layers. What I'm thinking. You know what they're doing? Being Drew, oh my gosh. Um. Drew? Drew, that is so dangerous. Drew, can you stop it? That's not funny. Yeah. Who's excited? I am so excited. I don't think anyone else is though. So I've managed to convince two I'm of my friends. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I can't wait. <laughs> I am out of my clothes now. I need to take my shoes off. There's a dog coming. I thought someone was shouting at us, but they're shouting at their dog. <laughs> okay. The stones are actually really cold, which means that the sea is going to be freezing. Melody, are you coming in? Let's do it, come on! 
That's not an excuse, <laughs> come on! <laughs> okay, we're going to enjoy our swim. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! It's freezing! What the hell? There's no way. Oh my god, Pia, that was so lovely, wasn't it? You should really try it. It's <laughs> <laughs> not gone at all. Gone. How was it? Gone. Oh you found no in it. Oh. Oh. I've got so much more planned for this trip, so make sure that you click subscribe because I'm going to be filming way more videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!